Hello everyone. In this video, I would like to talk about another interesting interview question. Uh, this question uh, can be expected for someone who at entry level and as well for one or two year and even for three year experience maybe. The idea here is to check your understanding about your the IV characteristics and uh, to see if you can look at if you can plot the graphs. And many a times in uh, analog circuit design interviews, most of the questions uh, are with respect to MOS can be just to plot the waveforms like uh, like plot the current ideas or maybe they can even ask you to plot uh, the capital GM and all such things okay and again like uh, I have been telling you are not expected or you are not expected to write equation and do all this calculation you have to draw it with some rough idea and another important point which I would like to make is uh, please always remember uh, that the end or the accurate solution is not important in an interview so do not hurry yourself uh, to get the right answer just make sure that you are doing right and using the right basics and uh, applying your right um, basics of MOS into your interview answer okay now let us uh, look at the circuit first I will talk about the question and later before I discuss the solution I would like to give you some hints and using this, those hints I would first like you to pause the video and solve on your own because uh, uh, if you directly look at the answer I am definitely sure you are not going to uh, learn anything more so the pattern or the way in which we are solving is more important than the solution okay so the question is like this this is the NMOS where the gate is connected to uh, two volts and the one volt is connected here it is a one volt source and there is a voltage source of value Vx and the current drawn it is shown in this direction is Ix now the VTH is given to be one volt okay and this values is just an arbitrary number this values can change so this is just numbers it can change in an interview so the interviewer is interested to plot the Ix versus Vx so if Vx goes on increasing okay how does Ix change so that is the question uh, now the, having asked the question uh, I will give you some hints first uh, please note that for NMOS the source or drain is decided by the potential at that point for example for a NMOS source is always a point where it is connected at the lowest potential okay so that is one hint I could I would like to give I note that uh, even though it is not that important please note if the direction of current is specified you must be very careful with the sign conventions so whatever current is flowing in this direction is positive so if you are getting a current in opposite direction that must be negative so these are very small points but very important because that tells you how much aware you are about KVL and KCL okay having said that I would like to give you approximately 10 seconds to think about the solution and your time starts now please take 10 seconds Okay, I hope you all have given a thought about this problem and also made use of the hint which I have given you. Okay. Uh, okay, now how to solve this? And there are many ways to solve this. One way is to start from Vx is equal to 0 and uh, go on looking at which regions the MOS operates and thereby looking at the current. The, the way in the steps in which you would solve is very simple. For every value of Vx, Calculate what is VDS okay, and see whether MOS is in saturation or linear. If it is in saturation, remember that the VDS change will not change the current. So Ix must be constant if uh, the MOS is in saturation. Okay, But if the MOS is in linear, what will happen? If I increase Vx, the current will increase linearly. 
or if the VDS, uh, if the VX reduces, the current will also reduce linearly. So these are the two points, very simple points. The first point I would like to write it over here. What is the first point? Uh, let me write it over. Let me. Okay, let me write it over here. The first point is first find out for every region whether it is in saturation or linear. This is the thing for every given Vx find out what is happening whether it is saturation or linear and once you find once you have found out whether it is in saturation or linear if it is in saturation remember Ix is going to be a constant if it is in linear Ix is going to be a function of Vx directly proportional if Vx increases Ix will increase if Vx decreases Ix will decrease very simple so let's start uh, you can start from by giving value of Vx is equal to 0 but I would not do that because uh, let's say if value of Vx is very very high it means uh, this potential will become my drain and this will become my source correct because source is at the lowest potential so let's assume that Vx is at a very high potential okay so in the graph I am somewhere here let me let me take different colors and uh, let's I let's say I am somewhere here at a very high value of Vx so if Vx is very high it means Vds is sufficiently greater than the overdrive voltage it means MOS is complete it is nicely sitting in saturation so Ix must not change so from that point I will in decrease Vx okay so what will happen uh, here let me say there is some let me use different colors so at this point the current is constant so I am reducing Vx so the current is constant the value is constant now what will happen is at one particular point when the mo Vx is lesser than the overdrive voltage um, because Vth is given we know what is that point what will be this point the point at which it is at the edge of saturation that is a point when it is 1 volt which is the overdrive voltage okay so after one volt if I reduce further reduce in this side your MOS is now operating in linear so what will happen to Vx and Ix relation they are linearly independent so from here what I will do is I must show the linear relation so somewhere here it becomes zero and you know you must know where it becomes zero at this point the voltage is 1 so it means if Vx is 1 the potential difference is 0 current is 0 so this is a point where Vx is equal to 1 volt and what about the voltage below that the current will go in this direction so this is how we can plot the Ix versus Vx very simple just by taking making note of two points and uh, you can try one more uh, the same question where you are going to plot gm with respect to vx you can try this on your own and about this problem if you have any queries you can drop your comments below and please subscribe to support our channel thank you